People, welcome back to Yard and Abroad TV. Please remember to hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification, like, comment, share, and subscribe. As I said, if you're not familiar with this channel, we talk about issues in Jamaica, the Caribbean, and the whole world, people. Wag one viewers and subscribers welcome back to my channel once again people much love and appreciation as usual big up in yourself so today people we're gonna talk about an incident that happened in jamaica at rick's cafe people an event was held there by the name of mocha fest that's what the, the event name mocha fest people and it gathered hundreds if not thousands of people and what you have to remember is that jamaica has a curfew thing going on and you can't really uh, keep big events like this and it's limited to about 10 people i think if i'm not mistaken correct me if i'm wrong but you basically can't have no big bashment party and this takes you back to where some people said there is two sides of jamaica you have the ghetto and you have the rich people them who feel like them can do whatever they feels like because recently to people in the ghetto area as soon as you turn on your radio police is there to escort you up in the truck so this event called mocha fest started the 24th of may people and today is the 28th and videos have been circulating online of the event people and let me tell you no sort of social distancing whatsoever no mass nothing check out the video then people <laughs> So yeah people this has caused an outrage in Jamaica people and the Prime Minister Andrew Holness um, mentioned it in one of his speech that he did earlier today. Check out that video as well. There is a particular situation which has come on our radar this morning. One that I have to pay careful attention to because it throws up something that we, have, we are always contending with Mark in our society. The unequalness of the society, the haves and the have-nots. Why is it that some people 
are allowed to party and others are not. The unequal nature of the society. And this government has a duty to ensure that the law is equally applied, both to those who have not and those who have. So read from my statement what you will. Government will have to ensure that it was not complicit in any breach of its own law. And I have asked for a report and my own investigations will be conducted. And the various arms of the state that have a duty to ensure the equal application of the law, I am expecting that they will move in that direction to ensure that if there is any breach, that the, ap the full application of the law will be guaranteed. So that's what Andrew Holness had to say. And he's, at one point he said he's trying to figure out if there was any breach. Like, you don't need um, glasses to say that there was a whole bunch of breach. As I say, no social distancing. The people them without masks. Uh, it, it, it just it looked like a disaster to me, people. With what I go on with COVID-19. I mean, no people are going to put my video at all. But, oh, um, COVID-19, no real and blah, blah, blah. And listen, you know, can't have an you know, opinion for me. No one opinion on what COVID is or is not. But. Let's just try to be the bigger individuals or adults and just obey laws and regulation in the country set by the Prime Minister. We know we are unruly already. But people, the longer we keep holding these events and putting on these big bashment, um, the longer these curfew and things going to be in place. You see me? We know we want outside. We want to go outside, people. But... Jano, this now make it any better. So, I read an article from the Jamaica Star where it says wholeness, that, and that's Andrew Wholeness, supports investigation into Mocha Fest. It goes on to say, outrage intensified Thursday evening when it emerged that a seven-day Mocha Fest event, which started on May 24th, was being advertised on the website of the Jamaica Tourist Board, JTB. The government's tourism promotion agency. You hear that people? So it looked like them was aware of what is going on and it was up to them to say no, you cannot have no mocha fest this year. But eventually it looked like nothing was said, so mocha fest still happened. And the crazy part about this, you know, people like the regular Jamaicans in Jamaica cannot keep no events like this, no matter if it's on a resort. No events like this cannot be kept. And you have Mocha Fest, which is, I think is from overseas. Then bring it to Jamaica. And watch this. It's like Jamaicans can't enjoy Jamaica. Crazy people. So it goes on to say, In a statement today, the Jamaica Tourist Board said since the onset of COVID-19 pandemic, they, alongside the tourism product development company, in conjunction with the Ministry of Health and Wellness, created clear guidelines to protect the health and safety of visitors and tourism workers. Based on the video circulated, the promoters and the venue in question were in clear breach of these guidelines, which is unacceptable. Accordingly, TPD Co. has recommended investigations into the matter with the assistance of local authorities. The investigation will include the sequence of events that led to this alleged breach with the objective of ensuring that appropriate sanctions are enforced, people. So, first of all, the mafia sanction or the mafia fine or lock up somebody at Rick's Cafe who um, was responsible for these people having mocha fest here because they sure. Lenoa wa guan at Jamaica. You see me? It's not like they was living on the rock and them just come out and say boom. They know what was going on and for them to allow Mocha Fest to keep um yeah, it's a clear breach, people. It's a very, very clear breach. Cause a whole part of time you see them are up, get the youth in a back truck. And you have these people from foreign I get treatment that Jamaicans or Jamaica cannot get. 
You see me, people? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to explain some videos of the event. Some of them might not have no really sound and thing because of copyright, you know, with YouTube. So just check out the video them, though, people, all right? Big up in yourself once again. Much love and appreciation. And thank you guys for tuning in. Bless up in yourself, people.